This is a, a, a launch of several firsts, the first nighttime launch, and of course, the first time that a black American astronaut goes into space. The crew of STS-8, perhaps as diverse a group of men as has ever been lifted off a launch pad. Well, as the shuttle Challenger begins another assault on the frontiers of space and conquers another social barrier with a racially integrated crew, all continues to go well. That's Guy Bluford, America's first black to go into space. Uh, I recognize the fact that I'm the guy who's setting the pace for the people who are going to fly behind me, but I don't feel as if I have to be perfect as well. T minus 11, 10, 9, Bluford. I'm a former astronaut. I'm also uh, an aerospace engineer. That's basically what I am as an aerospace engineer. I think uh, in my case, uh, my parents were great role models. I never felt uh, restricted in any way with reference to what I wanted to do. The astronaut program opened up for me in 77 and 78. And in uh, 83, I flew for the first time on STS-8. I was representing African Americans and flying in space, and, and so there was a lot of attention, and people wondered if I came in in order to be famous. No, I didn't come in specifically to be famous. Uh, I wanted to make a contribution to the program, so I wanted to fly four times. I really wanted to be looked upon as an astronaut, you know, not only the first African-American space, but an astronaut who's flown four times in space. Part of being a role model is to encourage kids to follow in what you've done, and so I enjoy the conversation between me and the kids, and my ability to be able to give them words of wisdom with the, with the thought that they will be able to follow in my footsteps. Uh, it's very inspiring. He uh, paved the way for everyone you know, to not only think outside the box, but expand your horizons, and go outside your comfort zone. I can stop worrying about all the obstacles in life, because when I think about it, it's like, oh, well, you're gonna have this happen, you're gonna have that happen, but now you can go above and beyond anything that you come up to, like you will overcome it. It really inspires me to know that somebody was able to go to college and be the first at something. He stepped outside of a boundary that society set for us. What I'm trying to do is be more involved by staying on the positive route. I just want to make myself a better person. I just want to make my family better. I would probably say thank you for showing me how you always got to keep fighting and never give up, keep pushing, don't take no for an answer. I would strongly recommend that the community support Inspiring Minds. It's a great program. It focuses kids on the future. It gives them an opportunity to, to look at uh, what they can do. Any sort of support you provide to the Inspiring Mind also feeds back into the community with uh, future scientists and engineers and, and uh, uh, adults that will uh, lead the community on in the future.